It's time for us to take a look at what's making the headlines for you in the sports pages of the newspapers. And joining us to do that, it is uh, journalist and reporter Will Pugh. How are you, Will? Hi, Will. Good morning, guys. I'm good very well indeed. With us. I'm just glad I managed to get good morning out I know, I know uh, <laughs> quite a basic word that I struggled with. I'd, I, I felt, all morning I've been fine. I've said that for, morning. I've yeah, said fine. There you go. Yeah. Just that one moment. Anyway, quickly moving on. Uh, Jurgen Klopp dominating a lot of the back pages. Yeah, now we had a chat about this last weekend, didn't we, in this studio. Cass, you were saying to me, listen, Will, these are high-pressured environments. Mm. You can't give these guys such a hard time. Sometimes the red mist comes down a bit, then, yeah. you know, these guys are under a lot of pressure. Well, the <laughs> um, FA of after Jurgen Klopp was just fined for his rant um, at linesman Gary Beswick in the Manchester City game a few weeks ago after he missed a clear foul on Mo Salah by mm. Bernardo Silva. Klopp was originally fined... 30 grand um, but escaped to touchline ban uh, much to the surprise of many people up and down the land uh, but the FA uh, yesterday have launched an appeal against that decision the decision was made by an independent commission and the FA feel it was too lenient um, as some people did before and they're pushing for a ban because they believe the behaviour of the top managers um, influences the approach and behaviour of players, managers, coaches, all that sort of thing at grassroots level. And they feel that Klopp not getting banned after Jesse Marsh and Antonio Conte yes. have for similar incidents earlier in the season yeah. is too lenient. Uh, and they have called for a, a, no, a new hearing uh, and they will be pushing for a ban for Jurgen Klopp. How do you feel about that, Cass? I don't want to really say too much. It's like, well... <laughs> you don't want well, to well, well, hamper I, you this. Know, I go, okay, okay. Well, I'm gonna, now I'm going to talk, aren't I? <laughs> I find it frustrating that a decision that was accepted, um, but not by the FA, that, you know, he, of course it wasn't on and he overreacted. Don't deny that. I don't condone his behaviour either. But there was a fine input in place. And surely that was enough. And we're going to say that every decision that someone makes is going to have to go to an inquiry and or someone's going to make a complaint about everything. Mm. They made a decision, move on. I, I do you agree now? It was quite surprising for the FA to take this action as well. well them, I, 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 it's not something we see very, very often. I, I'm not surprised actually they're taking action because I think there's been a bit of an uproar from uh, across all sorts of media angles. It, it wouldn't, I wouldn't even be surprised within football if certain managers and certain people are unhappy with the fact that it was only a mm. fine. Now, I think it has to be consistent. We talk about consistency overall, don't we, in, in refereeing and everything but like that. But what's 30 grand? It's quite yeah, a lot of, of money. It, well, it is a hefty amount of money. And of everyone will is. use the same line. Well, it doesn't matter to him. Yeah. You know, that it doesn't affect him. Well, No, I know what you're saying. And 30 grand is a lot of money, even if he is a multi Have you seen how much fines have increased now? I'm sure. Yeah, but yeah. my point is that if you're going to ban Jesse Marsh, mm -hmm. who, and I was at that game where he got banned, he... I mean, he was out of his technical box a lot in that game. So it didn't surprise me in the end that he has had that sanction. But you just sort of think, if you want to have a respect the ref campaign, it has to start with the managers that then filters down to the players. And you have to be consistent. You have well, to it, have a managerial It, it will never ban. filter down to the players because if you watch games as we do, I which know, we all do on a regular basis, I watched Jamie Vardy last week calling the referee absolutely everything when a decision Completely didn't go right. his way. I, I know, he I didn't even right. get a booking. So if you want to go down that road, and we all can do, we'll, we'll look at every player and we can quite s clearly see what they're saying to referees. They are taking no notice of, <laughs> of, of, of you know, what uh, the, is happening from, you know, penalties yeah. or, you know, what, I found it frustrating. What do you make of the idea then, just quickly, that these managers and the, the behaviour of people like Klopp, what do you make of the idea that that does affect how people behave at Sunday league games or kids games? I do, I do think you sometimes, it's a nurture thing, isn't it? And you if you see how someone behaves, it kind of does impact upon you as well. Um <sighs> I do think there's an element of that, especially with youngsters. Mm. I think if you see... But they do copy. Loads yeah. of people copy. Yeah, so I, I do I see that. that. And I d Listen, it's not about banning Jurgen Klopp. It's just about consistency and it's just making sure that it's fair across the board. So if I think Jesse Marsh, with, with the suspension that he had, if he's now looking at that thinking, well, hang on, I was banned for what happened with me. Why isn't he yeah, being but you banned? Can, we can always make a, uh, a discussion yeah, but but, but on sanctions, consistencies but there's a, a, basic a word that... Never is consistent. Yeah, but there's a basic thing. If you are abusive to the ref, oh. 
that should be a one ga- a one yeah. game ban straight away. If that then that should just be written in the rule books type thing because how else are you going to clamp down on it? That is the thing, isn't it? How I, how how do you yeah. you you have to take action? I'm just surprised. Well, do you want to go? You yeah. I wouldn't have had a problem if you know Klopp would have you got said banned. that, didn't you? Yeah. yeah, I said that to him. Have you got one match banned? Yeah, move on. Yeah, he's yeah. been given that. That's what they've decided. Yeah. Do we always want to have an inquiry after a decision <laughs> yeah. made? Yeah, keep on going back yeah, and read. Yeah, well, keep going back on everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah I don't agree with it. No.